Remember back in 2017 when Trump said this about Sweden. You look at what's happening in Germany. You look at what's happening last night in Sweden. Sweden. Who would believe this? Sweden. They took in large numbers. They're having problems like they never thought possible. He was talking generally about soaring crime and terror attacks attributable to mass migration and open borders. But then the media, including primarily the BBC, mocked him for talking about something that supposedly didn't exist. Sweden to Trump. What happened last night? Trump tries to explain remark about Sweden amid confusion. They also mocked your boy here for saying similar stuff. Well, they're not mocking us now. Here's the BBC reporting today. Day about how rampant gang violence has forced the Swedish Prime Minister to call on the army to perform law enforcement. Ulf Christensen addressed the nation last night during a televised speech, announcing that emergency talks will take place today with the Commander-in-Chief of the Swedish Armed Forces. Now, more and more children and completely innocent people are affected by the gross violence, he said. I cannot emphasise enough how serious the situation is. Sweden has never seen anything like this before. No other country in Europe has seen anything like this. Christ and blamed the quote unsuccessful integration of the millions of migrants who have poured into the country as one of the primary reasons behind the chaos. This after the former leftist Prime Minister Magdalena Anderson acknowledged that mass migration had led to violent parallel societies. In just 12 hours two men were shot dead in Stockholm and a 25 year old woman was killed in a blast at her own home. 12 people have been killed in gang violence so far this month alone. Grenade attacks and riots have become commonplace. Not to mention the soaring rates of non-violent crimes. Sweden went from being one of the safest countries in Europe to the second most dangerous. Gee, I wonder what changed. No one's laughing now, are they? I guess Trump was right all along. But according to the spokesperson of a group linked to Amnesty International, the real root of the problem isn't being addressed. And that's that there aren't enough youth clubs and sports centres for young people. Wow, they've really identified the true cause of runaway gang violence and ethnic riots. There just aren't enough table tennis facilities and squash courts. Yeah, I'm sure that'll fix it. Get early access to videos, exclusive live streams and personally DM me. You've seen how much I get demonetized all the time. Well, this is how you support me. By subscribing at pauljosephwatson.locals.com. Please click the link in the description.